Well, hey, neighbors. Welcome to the Chet Shop. Outdoors. It's hot as hell. Over here we have a steel MS361. And uh, what we're doing today is what I hope is the final video with this saw. Um, before stop posted for sale tonight, hopefully. It's Friday, July 7th. And basically, uh, we will put an info card right here to the playlist of the Nightmares and uh, this 361 will be on there at some point. But also, I will put at the end of the video for you, uh, we will put a couple of videos of this 361 to show you what happened with it. And you can follow along if you click any, click any of those videos that that saw's in before. You should be able to easily find your way to the, the other videos because there are end cards on every single one of those 361 videos that will either bring you to another 361 video or the uh, 575 that I've got the 28 inch bar on that I'm hoping to do a final cut with today. And so basically uh, that's all had a third weird clip uh, show up in it and uh, I went to get another top end for it. Uh, from another saw I have and that saw had somehow even though it was packaged really well uh, a chip missing out of the piston and so we couldn't we couldn't use the piston and so now it has an OEM uh, Male top end with uh, the Meteor uh, piston and it's been through its break-in it's got a new air filter a new fuel pickup body new o-rings on the gas caps all, all that stuff I standardly do a uh, new sprocket uh, the chain is basically brand new. The bar, I know it looks a little rough with the rust, but I have dressed it and the bar is perfectly good. I've been cutting with it. It's just not the prettiest bar. And if you want to pay more money, maybe I can get you a prettier bar. Um, but then we've rebuilt the carburetor, a new spark plug, uh, many other things to the saw, all brand new AV mounts. And standardly, when you get a saw from my shop, anything that is wearable that needs replaced will be replaced. Uh, and if it's questionable like an AV mount or a rubber, uh, it will typically get replaced even though some of them are like 26 or $27 for one piece. Uh, so that's going to be it. I've just come back from seeing neighbor Tanya about an hour ago. That's my massage therapist. Sorry, neighbor Tanya. I've done you dirty and left your cart inside. So sorry. It's hot and I'm messy today. You guys, because I'm tired because Tanya has relaxed me uh, and, and helped me, uh, caused me excruciating pain over here and excruciating pain there. And, and the good thing is that to me is good because as long as I do my part and take it easy, which I'm going to cut just a little bit here, uh, essentially I've opened up this muffler and taken the baffle and everything out and ported it. I have an OEM muffler if you need an OEM muffler, neighbors. Um, and really, I just removed a lar large portion of the internal components of this muffler and then I painted it uh, murder black and uh, baked it. it. It did have a little bit of denting to it and stuff. Uh, that's why I decided to experiment with that one, but we're going to see how that worked out, and if it worked out good, uh, I'll potentially leave it on the saw, and then if somebody wants the OEM, then they can have the OEM, and uh, we'll give you a little bit of a lower price because I put a lot of time into that muffler, and so if it's good, um, it's staying on the saw. So that being said, neighbors, I'm going to turn you down to the, I mean over to the, sorry, we're not in the shop, just kidding, over to the tree, and let's get to work, damn it. Neighbors, Ooh. yes, I'm sore. Uh, thanks to neighbor Tanya, my massage therapist, knowing that bartering uh, still is awesome, especially bartering services is still a good thing to do in America. We barter for some of my massages because I cannot afford to pay her uh, her fair wage because I'm poor. And so I know, let's see, you know what, neighbors? I know I have not been giving you guys good views. Should you come over here? I was watching a guy today, and he did all kinds of fumbling with the camera for like 18 minutes. Uh, he, he had like an 18, no, I'm sorry, 23 minute video and he fumbled with the camera for over four minutes of that video and he had like 673,000 views and like, uh, 273,000 thumbs ups and I was like, well, damn, I'm silly when I move my camera. How does he get such good views? Cause a lot of his videos are like that and he's doing the same thing I'm doing except he's secretly filming at his work. Maybe that's why he gets good views. Uh, so anyways, neighbors, let me get this all and we'll get going here. I was just thinking, neighbors, I might need to do one more video because even though we saw this cut that big old cedar over there stock, uh, it'd be nice to see it cut some big stuff uh, with the ported muffler so we have something to compare to. 
Okay, I don't really know what shoulder to use today. Uh, she worked hard on my right, and so I think I'll use my left to pull cord today. it okay she needs to be leaned out this saw uh, has just finished breaking period and that's part of this I've got to tune it in but unfortunately I am gonna have to cut some little stuff first because I've got to uh, make sure I don't do myself dirty and work too hard I've got to be smart despite the fact damn should I level you guys out despite the fact that uh, I need to cut big stuff I also need to list this saw and so there's lots of video with it cutting stock muffler uh, and I did not commit carnal sin. I did remember my um, carb adjustment screwdriver here. Neighbors, no fret. Oh. 
balls, Jill. Uh, Tanya will kick my ass if I don't listen to doctor's orders. <laughs> Fishy. Oh, our chip burning up on our muffler. I don't know where the best place to put you guys is. Our saw died. Okay, it's a little too late. No, that's a little too late. Ah, damn it. Why every time I walk over here does my saw die? That is perplexing, man. Why do you guys make my saw die? Ooh, it's hot. You never see how much I'm sweating. Whew. Makes it hard to focus. Damn. Okay. It's hot, hot, hot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, slippery hands and everything, neighbors. Goodness. Okay.
I, I'm trying to listen to the saw to hear if it's if it's loading up or if it's uh, choking out. You guys, in, in other terms, um, is it is it getting too much fuel on that low end or not enough? Um, so I, I still got to tune it in, but I don't think that'll be an issue. And, and if it is, I might have opened the muffler up just a little bit too much. I don't think I did though. Um, I mean, there's saws that the mufflers are literally wide open. It's just a, an open container. And that's almost what this is now. Um, but I don't think it's too much. And so I will get the saw tuned in, uh, figure out why it's doing that one little stall there. Um, and why it takes three, three, uh, I'm thinking three pulls to fire it. Um, if it was getting too much fuel, when you pull your cord, each time it would, it would load up more. And so I'm thinking that it's, it's not getting enough fuel. So you guys tell me in the comments down below what the hell you think. Uh, because I know I can't work too hard, but I'm confident in listing this all right now um, and, and getting it on the internet um, Because this video will be part of it that I do have a little quirk to work out So if you contact me before that quirks worked out uh, We'll have to discuss it. So well, maybe I won't hell now that I'm thinking about it you guys Maybe I'm not gonna post this the 575 uh, 570 uh, has been running great uh, I did open that muffler just a, a small amount, a small amount, because I didn't want to split it apart. So I could only do what I could do from the exhaust port uh, with that one. So I've opened it up just a small amount. And when I see inside that thing, it, it is just garbage what they've done with that muffler. There's no airflow. I don't even know how a saw can run with these things. Uh, this one was the same way. Um, I'm going to hopefully open up after this saw sells that other 361 muffler I have. I think I only have one. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like inside. We're gonna split it right in half just so I can show you how restricted they really are these days. Okay, so that's gonna be it, uh, neighbors. I'm gonna end you, and then I'm gonna start you. So until next time, be kind to one another. Everyone's facing a battle. It's hot as hell in Lewisburg, Tennessee, uh, and I desperately want to keep figuring out why my saw is stalling a little bit. It starts right back up, but it stalls, and we don't wanna sell a saw that stalls. So uh, essentially, uh, I just got to fix that tuning issue. That's all. And I might just go put it on a tachometer and see where it's at. And that might resolve my issue because I'm so hot, hot and so focused on not making wrong movements or overworking. Not, I get carried away and I'll just start cutting this whole damn tree up and even forget you guys are there. So uh, that's going to be it, neighbors. I love all 8 billion of you. Damn it. Let's keep persevering, neighbors.